And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Temperatures in the lower 40s today. Farther to the south, we had some 70s, but it's going to be this cooler air mass that's going to stick around here. Remember, it's not too long ago where we were dealing with those 60s and even those 70s, a very uh, warm stretch in November. But it does appear as we continue on into the uh, next couple of days and even into next week, overall the pattern is showing slightly above average temperatures as we end the month of November. Beautiful start to the day, lots of sunshine, calm winds. You don't see the tree shaking too much. Uh, it was nice if we had that earlier when the fall peak colors were around, but those gusty winds that we dealt with uh, earlier this fall just caused those peak colors to be in such a short time span. And then we had the sunset. Quiet weather overnight tonight before we have increasing clouds tomorrow, ahead of a weak area of low pressure that's right now moving across the northern plains. 34 degrees once the sun has set, calm winds, clear skies. Those temperatures are coming down into the 20s tonight. We're already down into the 20s in Mountain and Pembine, 26 in Anago. We've got lower 30s across the Fox Valley and lower 30s also along the shoreline, 31 in Ephraim. Winds starting to see quite a few goose eggs develop, and they were pretty calm winds during the day today. Um, we'll see calm winds tonight and into early tomorrow, then a light breeze out of the southwest during the afternoon tomorrow as well. A more potent storm system down to the south providing some pretty steady to moderate rainfall from Wichita all the way off towards Indiana eventually impacting most of the Ohio River Valley. Our system will be monitoring is right now off towards the west and you can see some rainfall over parts of South Dakota, Nebraska. This is going to be heading eastward. System will be weakening a little bit as it heads our way. Now, after that system departs, we've got more dry air off towards the west, and it looks like some sunshine will return for our Monday before a more potent system moves in here on Tuesday. So for tonight, we'll see mostly clear skies, then some high-level cirrus clouds build in here by the morning hours tomorrow, and then thickening cloud cover as you get into the afternoon. You're seeing some few rain showers. Might even have a little wintry mix. Better chance to see that up towards the UP. Continued chance of some sprinkles as we get into later tomorrow evening. And then tonight, or tomorrow night, we see clearing skies, and by Monday morning, we see more sunshine. Now, as you head into the day for Tuesday, this is when our next more potent system is, will be on the way. Might even see some accumulating snow initially ahead of a warm front. Could have some snowfall, but then we get into the warm sector of the system. Snow turns over to rain by Tuesday afternoon, and we keep with the chance of rain into Wednesday. It does appear as we get towards Thanksgiving, though, the weather does turn dry. So for tonight, we'll drop down into the mid-20s with calm winds and mostly clear skies. And then for tomorrow, we'll see increasing clouds, 42 degrees. A stray shower is possible with light winds out of the southwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Cooler weather, but sunny on Monday. A little wintry mix on Tuesday, some rainfall on Wednesday, and then some dry weather returns as it get towards Thanksgiving and into the weekend. Typical November weather. All right, thanks, Gino.